Hi, I'm Amy Lewis. Welcome back to Pop Up Tech Talks. I'm here with Val and Tim. Do you guys want to introduce yourself? I am Val Berkovici, CTO at SolidFire. Tim Crawford, CIO Strategic Advisor at Avoa. And uh, we're, we're hitting the hard hitting news topics of the day. We're talking about Pokemon Go. So you guys were having a conversation about what this means. We're here at Cisco Live, so it's kind of appropriate. IoT, security, et cetera. Um, talk to me about what you think about this craze. Well, I think one of the questions is, is it ignorance or is it really secure? There's a lot of question about what it opens up, especially in your Google account. I think a lot of folks are surprised, but what other things have folks actually opened up and maybe they didn't think about? And I'm thinking actually even taking a step back around when would be the first mainstream influence or impact on the market of a virtual reality or augmented reality technology? My personal guess was going to be around Christmas time this year when we all get our kids Xbox controllers with the HoloLens add-ons and so forth or you know the, the PS4 add-ons for virtual reality. But sure enough, it happened about five months ahead of schedule. So we're now seeing for the first time mainstream applications and volume demand for these technologies and it's opening up all these topics we, we have to think about right now not just security but back-end scaling one of the reasons why we're seeing this massive exposure to all of our permissions on google is because i think it's niantic's own back end that developed the game they were never prepared for this kind of volume or success so they've got a very primitive database for user accounts for authentication and so forth and they're scrambling like crazy now to do a classic cloud native thing which is scale their back end and, and I was going to say, I've already seen the articles come out for you know parents. Here are five tips for your kids who want to play. Um, what if your parents work in IT? Be, war be warned, kids. <laughs> so what might be some of the additional concerns, to Val's point, that you would have, um, again, around security, around this engagement? Well, I, I mean, before I go there, I just have one word, IOT. Well, I guess it's three <laughs> words, but one acronym, right? And when I think about what I give them access to, because I still kind of have that control. I mean, my kids are younger, 8 and 11, so I'm still thinking about their safety, their online safety, maybe a little more than others would. But I let Pokemon go, I let it go with one of them, and now I need to go back and rethink that a little bit. So it might cause me to kind of pull back the reins a little bit, right or wrong. But as I start to think about what they have access to and why they access and what it has access to, I really need to take a deeper look at it because they're not going to look at it. They, they don't have the, the expertise or uh, wherewithal to, to think about it. So I have to infuse that. And do you think that, like you said, once the, the holiday gifts are out of the bag, in some ways we've changed a generation, do you think that this is that moment in time we're not going back? Absolutely, this is the moment in time, and again, I think that what's fascinating about IoT is that for the first time marries the digital and physical world together. So online safety prior to Pokemon Go is around protecting your identity. Online safety after Pokemon Go is about protecting yourself, not f trying to find Pokemon in dark alleys in the middle of the night, which is a real thing now that's happening if you Google what's going on. So it's really accelerating the need to understand the security implications, not even the privacy, but just the security implications of marrying a digital and physical world for the first time at high scale as a mainstream thing. I know. We just worried about it, I guess, with Google Maps not driving into a lake because yeah. it said to if there was a lake in front of exactly. us. But. but actually, in a matter of days, we started seeing the reports of folks that were actually using Pokemon Go in a malicious way, where they were starting to attract people to areas yeah. and then taking advantage of them in one way or another. And that's really scary, especially as you think about Pokemon as a brand really appeals to younger audiences and now adults are starting to get into it so it's going up market a little bit but that's something we have to think about is that time to risk is actually shortening very very quickly and to your point I mean the holidays are are kind of the boon for it but quite frankly it could come out at any point in time and we just have to keep our guard up not to be overly protective, because I think that can be damaging too, but at the same time, we have to try and infuse this into security and whatnot as we start thinking about IoT, you know, soup to nuts. I think this is really going to be a blessing in disguise, because again, there's going to be just a huge adoption of this technology on Christmas time. This is our dry run for how to adapt and react to this new thing of marrying the physical and the online digital world for the first time. It's the first of thousands upon thousands of applications, both industrial and, and consumer in the future. So glasses half full, this is a blessing. Take it as such. All right, confession time. Have you got to catch them all? Or are you going to play? 
Oh, I already have, but actually I disabled as soon as I realized, you know, retroactively, the, the permission access that I granted to my Google account, I disabled it immediately. Once they figure out how to get more granular, I'll, I'll turn it back on. Professor Willow will see me again. So. Uh, <laughs> I have not downloaded it, so I'm, I think I'm okay for the moment. <laughs> I was actually afraid being on the keynote stage tomorrow, not having an opinion on this firsthand. So out of fear, I downloaded it and enjoyed playing it. Then I had to disable it, so now I've got a discussion topic. So. <laughs> it's, the, it's the fear of being out, exactly. right? <laughs> exactly. In our business, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll see if we can get a Pokemon on stage with you. <laughs> so thanks, Val. Thanks, Tim. And we'll see you next time on Pop-Up Tech Talks.